In a series of recent tweets, Kangana Ranawat, Kanga and Ranawat laid bare her views on the issue of caste-based reservation. So this celebrity who attacked me on Twitter is also talking about caste system. So we're going to review her tweets. Oh, look at this. Harris Sultan is here. He's saying, I, I subscribe this Indian... He's, he, okay, so Harris Sultan is subscribed to this Indian atheist channel. Is it good, Harris? Yeah, I like the art style. I like the art style, and I also like how his back, his background. Look at this guy's background. Look at the. Uh, who, oh, is that? Who's that? Is that? I don't know who that is. Uh, but look at the yeah the the art and the the books here is pretty nice. The color of the background matches the color that. So he he knows how to do cinema. Like the quality is pretty good. So he knows how to do visuals. Especially in professions like doctors, engineers, pilots, most deserving people suffer reservations. We as a nation suffer mediocrity and brilliance finds a reluctant escape to the U.S. Shame. Okay, so what is what are we reading? So this reservation thing, by the way, by the way, guys, I hope, is that Dawkins? I thought that was Dawkins. I didn't want to assume. Yeah, that, that looks like Dawkins. Um, okay, so... This whole ch whole situation with reservations and the caste system, I'm not very familiar with, so I'm hoping people in the live chat could help me out with understanding uh, what's going on. But this is the tweet. Especially in professions like doctors, engineers, pilots, most deserving people suffer reservations. We as a nation suffer mediocrity and brilliance. Uh, finds reluctant escape to United States. Shame. Okay, so is this whole reservation thing kind of like the quota system uh, in United States for minorities? Is that what we're looking at here? I'm just trying to figure it out based on what the tweet is happening. Terrell saying, I see Dr. Uh, um, Dick um, Dick um, India's Thomas Jefferson. Oh, yeah, that guy over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the wall behind him, left of his head. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, okay. Uh, you can pronounce her name. Okay, yeah, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. But guys, is that is that my understanding of these reservations? Is that is that is that what my understanding? Okay, I think he's going to explain more. No, Anmol is saying no. Is a lot of you in the live chat seem not to like this lady. She, you're saying she's an opportunist narcissist who is being. Um, I don't know what that word is. Some people saying she's an ex-celebrity. Okay, so somebody saying my understanding is no. So another person is saying yes. Um, so that I'm getting contradiction. Oh, yes. Yeah, so look at this. Yeah, it's a quota system. See, it is a quota system. I just got it based on that tweet. Akshay is saying reservation in, is the positive discrimination under government of India, which quotas for Dalits and tribals in India. Okay, so it is quote just like, yes, quotas for discriminated groups like it's a quota system for um the dalits the outcasts the people who have been discriminated against oh yeah so people are saying yes yes reservation is the affirmative action system in india uh reservations were an initiative from the government to ensure balance in jobs and education so it's basically this kind of like the quotas in universities for black people in the united states something like that but I don't know. I, I so here's a, another recommendation for the Indian atheist. Uh, maybe explain a concept before you jump into the tweet. I think I, I don't know if the Indian atheist is ever gonna watch this video, but that's my feedback. Like I assume like people have no idea about these concepts and explain it before you jump into it. Unless you're only appealing to Indian community, and you think they already know that, then I guess don't bother. But I think it is an opportunity for us not Indian to learn a lot from your channel if you make if you if you do a one like a quick one on one at the very beginning of your videos. Is it just me or does anyone else detect hints of Trump here? Oh yeah, so <laughs> hints of Trump. So basically he's she is kind of like the way that she, this guys, why is the politics across the world so similar, right? So just like the right wing people, again, I'm not I'm, right now. I'm not judging it if it's a good idea or bad idea, but just like in maybe I'm assuming just like in the United States where a lot of left leaning people might be in, in favor of quotas and a lot of right leaning people are against it. I think this is going to be, um, you know, promote mediocrity. 
uh, and get the people that are brilliant to go to other places. Uh, that's what the right-leaning people would say. Uh, in, in India, also, we have the left-leaning people support the reservations and the right-leaning people being against it. And that's why he's saying, like, this celebrity sounds like a, tr a hint of Trump. But it's very amazing how, like, it's just like politics in country, different countries are so similar. Uh, Okay, Ambedkar. Ambedkar. Okay, Ambedkar is that guy. We guys. Okay, if that's if that's if Indian atheists are celebrating Ambedkar, we need to learn more about these figures and educate the rest of. The, we, you know, I hope like if, if this is if we like the Indian atheists, we should like see if we could reach out to him and invite him on Atheist Republic to teach us about different things, right? Game. Is it just me, or does anyone else detect hints of Trump here? There is a distinct Trumpiness to these tweets. I mean, apart from the vocabulary, of course, which is slightly advanced for Trump. And also, <laughs> it's like, it's like he's saying it's like sounds like Trump, but no, this is too advanced. The vocabulary is slightly advanced for Trump. That was a good job. So apparently, Kangna hasn't been introduced to periods yet. One is forced, therefore, to look at these tweets phrase by phrase because somehow the notion of a sentence is uh, conspicuously absent in these tweets. So here I, I like how he sounds so intellectual, the way he talks. I don't know what is it about. It goes nothing. Phrase one, caste system has been rejected by modern Indians. Kangna seems to... Oh yeah, uh, Harris is saying, yeah, Amde Ambedkar is a very interesting character. Okay, is, that's this guy, right? So we need to learn about this guy at some point. Okay, yeah, you guys are saying, yeah, sort of affirmative action. So what was this first thing? So phrase one. So he, he's going phrase by phrase in every tweet. This guy is, like, pretty, like, detailed. Okay, so phrase one, caste system has been rejected. Wait, where was that in the tweet? I didn't see that. Oh, wow, we forgot. We completely missed the first part of this tweet. Okay, here. Caste system has been rejected by modern Indians in small towns. Everyone knows... It's not acceptable anymore by law and order. Uh, it's nothing more than a sadistic pleasure for few. Only our constitution is holding... Uh, yeah, where's the, where does the sentence stop? You're right. Um, more than a sadistic pleasure for few, comma, only our constitution is holding on it, onto it in terms of reservations. Let's let go of it. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this, she's saying like... Oh, guys, this is very similar to the discussion in the United States. So people are saying the racism, you know, is not, we don't have much racism anymore. The only racism that we have is from the woke people who constantly want to talk about race stuff. Um, and they would like these whole uh, reverse race. The, now we have reverse racism. This quota stuff is bringing racism back. Wow, this is very similar. So she's saying like, like just like the way conversation that we have in the United States about racism, um, I guess a lot of more right-leaning people in India are saying, yeah, caste system, caste system is over. The only people that are keeping the caste system are people who, uh, you know, you know, it's in the like want to have reservations, like in the constitution. If you want to get rid of the caste system, get rid of these. Um, Get rid of these stuff. Yeah, get rid of anything associated with the caste system. Sure. Phase one. Caste system has been rejected by modern Indians. Caste system has been rejected by modern Indians. Okay, so he's going to analyze each phrase in that tweet. Kangna seems to borrow here, I think, from one of the greatest socio-political scholars of this country, one Mr. Jaki Vasudev, a.k.a. Oh, we're going to actually f analyze this guy. We're going to go over some of the... I saw you guys were... Um, I saw you guys were in the in our Discord server was were recommending that I uh, some videos from this guy for me to review, so I will do that. Um, by the way, Harris Sultan, you should you should get a Discord server because I'm getting a lot of recommendations in my Discord server from our community, and it's giving me a lot of ideas on what to do next. So Discord server is a, it's a really good place for. By the way, guys, link to our Discord server is in the description. It's like a very family. It's like a very tight community. It's like really nice. Join it. Join there. It's, there's so many things happening there. Um, you guys are so okay. Let's focus on this guy. Okay. So this is so she met with this guy. Of this country, one Mr. Jaki Vasudev, aka Mr. Sadhguru, 
who is reportedly known to destroy caste system in 30 seconds of said said guru destroys caste system in 30 seconds five minutes or whatever the accounts vary so anyway according to kamna caste system has been rejected by modern indians hmm. if that is so how come in kangna's own industry the lead characters in almost every mainstream bollywood movie are always upper caste how see this conversation is so much like in the united states because people say right wing people saying ah oh, racism it was a thing of a past in the united states it was mostly happening in the 1960s and there's no discrimination that's that's what you hear in the united states that's what like the right-leaning people say and the left-leaning people say well if there's if racism is a thing of the past then how come and then they come up with a whole bunch of statistics like oh look at the ceos look at this look at police look at the justice system look at the uh, arrest rates and that that's a conversation that that's the mirror conversation of exactly that happening in India, right? So he's saying, well, if the caste, if Indians have modern Indians have rejected caste system, then he's gonna now give you a whole bunch of statistics. Again, I'm not saying if he's right or not because I'm not, I haven't seen this data, but I'm just noticing how similar this conversation is in India. Characters in almost every mainstream Bollywood movie are always upper caste. So the main the main characters in almost every Bollywood movie are upper caste. Wow, is that true? I don't know if that's true, but it's very interesting. He does seem like a sad guru. You guys saying, Torell is saying, I agree that it would be good to look into. Okay, but let's focus on this. Dr. Amber Bark, I sent you some links about him on the video recommendation channel. Okay, I'm just, okay I will take a look at this. But let's focus on what this guy is saying. God, he's a very sad guru. Yeah, don't follow sad gurus. Follow only one guru. Hashtag Guru Armin. How come almost every Indian matrimonial website has a drop-down menu for caste preference? Uh, yeah, so these are dating websites. Every dating website, almost every dating website in India, you could screen by caste. I mean, that is really... And I've seen a lot of people who advertise themselves in these dating websites or platform. They tell you what caste they prefer. And even though there are more people that uh, that say that they don't I've okay so it's very interesting because I was saying some I was reviewing something else and somebody was wanted to show that hey like caste is becoming less of a deal in in India right and to show that they were showing that less people less people are more uh, sorry more people are showing on their dating profiles that they're open to every caste right and to that was supposed to be like a sign of things getting better. But when I looked at it, I was like, wow, half, like more than half of them, like actually the vast majority of them are still saying their caste preference. But apparently it was, it was still better than how it was before. Like the, the percentage of people that are saying that all, they're open to all casts, apparently they showed that there's some progress that we made. But for me as an outsider, it was surprising to see that there were still so many people that had cast preferences, right? And the fact that that's even an option on all these day, dating websites. I mean, think about how far behind India would be. Like imagine if in the United States, yeah, I'm not even going to say that because YouTube is going to be like, yeah, no, you can't say that. Okay, so it's not a dating website. It's you guys are saying it's a marriage site for arranged marriage. Okay, but the one I saw before that was like a dating website. So this is different. This is like a marriage website. I mean, potato, potato. Like it's not that different, is it? How come almost every priest is Brahmin and almost every priest is Brahmin, like upper caste? Every worker in the municipal sanitation departments is lower caste or Dalit. And every How? so every every priest is every priest is upper caste, and everybody doing like cleaning, you know, crap and toilet and cleaning dirty stuff. All the dirty works are like um, he's saying they're mostly uh, outcasts. Departments. So you guys are saying these sites are different from dating website. These are arranged marriage website. Yeah, I read that some upstairs, but again, same thing, same conclusion, right? So dating websites have the, like a, so. I saw the other place that I saw that wasn't about marriage. That was I don't know what maybe what that one was also about marriage. Yeah, but it were the the point is still the same though. Whether whether it's dating websites or marriage websites, right? Is lower caste or Dalit? How come there are severe punitive measures in place for intercaste marriages and almost? 
Yeah, look at this. Harris is saying John claims to be an open minded. He's an open minded. <laughs> yeah, I can't read that, but yeah. He's that's why I haven't blocked him because he's so funny. He's so stupid that he's fun. Yeah. Most every single Indian village. And how come? Okay, so VP is saying this video is wrong. Uh, VP is saying such a wrong video. My friend is Brahmin and he has. T shell? T stall. T stall. But he did. Okay, VP is. Okay, VP Productions. He didn't say every single Brahmin is a priest. He said every priest is a Brahmin. Did you just misunderstood what he said? VP, what, why is, what's wrong with the video? The video didn't say, I, I, I mean, I, I, I suggest it doesn't make an absolute statement like that. Maybe you should have said most, because then if you find one example, did he say every or did he say most? Hold on. Departments, there's lower cost. Monial website has a drop down menu for cost preference. How come almost every priest is brown? Almost. Okay, great. So he was in. I like this guy. This Indian atheist guy is not making absolute statements. He said almost every priest is a mm -hmm. Brahmin. So like, look at this VP Productions. Look how how wrong how easily you misunderstood him. He didn't say every Brahmin is a priest. He said every almost. He was very careful to say almost, and he said almost every priest is a Brahmin. So you completely misunderstood what he said, and then you're claiming that the video is wrong. Yeah, uh, pretentious idiot is saying Indian atheist seems base. Yeah, so far I like his style. And almost his style of thinking. Most every worker in the municipal sanitation departments is lower caste or Dalit. How come there are severe punitive measures in place for intercaste marriages in almost every single Indian village? And how come? Okay, so there is, whoa, there is measures against. Okay, see, he said in almost, he's very careful. He didn't say, first of all, he's only talking about Indian villages, and he said almost every Indian village. So he said there is. How come there are severe punitive measures? Punitive measures against intercaste marriage in almost every Indian village. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, I wish, like, there was, like, some citations or something on the screen, but that's, like, a lot of work, but I would, that would be amazing. Like if he said any of these things, there would be like a citation popping on the screen. If anybody wants to check this. Measures in place for intercaste marriages in almost every single Indian village. No, Harris is saying bias. No, Harris, you don't know what based means. Based means like, like good. I don't know how to. Harris, you're a boomer. No, he didn't say bias. He said based. And uh, it's so obvious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, exactly. Pretentious idiot is saying, nope, base is, yeah, this guy is base as, as F. Okay. So Harris Sultan is a boomer. He doesn't know what base means. <laughs> Somebody explain um, Gen Z lingo to him. For intercaste marriages in almost every single Indian village. And how come the upper castes dominate almost every vertical of human enterprise in India? Mm. Is it because A, Upper caste people are actually superior. Like, ooh, okay. So he's gonna come with high, some guesses for what the reason might be behind all of these statistics. By the way, I agree with this comment. Uh, Bisham Munten is saying, "Bro, we we should get an Indian atheist on here sometime. He seems pretty damn close to home with his care of absolute statements." Yeah, like yeah, I think this guy, this guy so far is giving me a lot of hope. Right, this guy seems to know what he's talking about. Uh, Harry's still telling you what space base means like I don't know how to explain it. it just means like cool or good I don't know what else uh, Soraya is saying technically as per Vidas, any so called Brahmin is priest by default that's where all the ma uh, mess starts yeah but the thing is that if you say uh, yeah so uh, in theory they should all be bra uh, upper caste right um, but um you can never like india is so big so if you say all priests all uh, priests are brahmin like it's going to be like you just have to find one example and your entire statement ends up being wrong so it's just it's just very good idea to just be like mo almost all almost all or something like that dna wise or something 
Or B, upper caste people simply work harder? Or C, upper caste people have more motivation or a greater urge to succeed in so it's like there's there's three reasons why the statistics could be true. A, upper caste people are superior. B, upper caste people work harder. C, upper caste people have a greater craving for success. Life. Or is it D? Or is it D, upper caste people are dealt an upper hand through the caste system? Hmm, it seems to me like he's exhausting every single scenario as much as he possibly can, reasonably can. Yeah, can, like, can it be anything else other than A, B, C, and D? Man, I like the way he, this guy, um, oper like, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. And look at, look at this guy. Guys, look at this. He is, you know, putting a shadow under the text as well. So it's like it really pops out. That's like a very good idea to putting a shadow under the text as well, right? Guy, this guy, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. The rigidly institutionalized social hierarchy that we call the caste system that continues to deprive the lower castes of equal opportunities. You have these competing hypotheses. Now apply Occam's razor. Oh, look at this. Apply Occam's razor, man. I love this guy. I love this guy. This guy's based. Yes. Okay, so he has four different hypotheses. Oh, I managed to say that without a tongue, without twisting my tongue. And now he's going to apply Occam's razor to it. Guys, this is amazing. Go ahead. Apply it now. It's apply as good it now. Okay, let's try to apply it together before he tells us, okay? Um, upper class people are superior. How many assumptions do you have to make for that to be true? You have to think that somehow they have, even though like genetically they have been evolved completely different, uh, even though that we know that you know evolution doesn't work like that in such a short amount of time. And DNA-wise, yeah, I mean, that's obviously not the option, right? DNA-wise, we're all the same um, species so and we are able to procreate with each other so there's no way that they are that they have managed to become separate enough for their DNA to be different uh, in any meaningful way for other from other castes so A cannot be the option B upper caste people work harder I mean okay if that is the case based on the what we said for option A it cannot be anything biological so it has to be something socioeconomic related um, so if it's socioeconomic related and they work harder because of socioeconomic reasons, that would still be option D anyways, because the socioeconomic reasons is giving them an upper hand. So if they work harder, it's either biological or socioeconomics. If it's biological, it, that would get removed if you apply Occam's razor. But if it's socioeconomic, that would just be option D anyways. Same thing with option C, upper caste people have a greater craving for success if that see if that's biological we again applying a comes razor that means evolution has worked on them completely differently and that it has applied to other people or every or every other species everywhere in the world and based on the number of assumptions that we need to make on that is so astronomical that outcomes razor will remove c so if it removes c if it's this, if if c is biological but again, if C is true and C is because of socioeconomic factors, again, socioeconomic factors are giving um, upper caste people an upper hand, and that will also go back to option D. So Alcan's razor will mean that a, a, even if A, B, C is true in any way, it must be because of socioeconomic factors, and because it's because of socioeconomic factors, it will just go as a subcategory as option D. Okay, so that's how I applied Aqua Razor. Let me see how he does it. The time is in. By the way, I just did that like without thinking much. So if I made any mistakes, that you know, I just like it just came up with that right now. Me to to get some hands on. Um, on Aqua Razor. I did. Select the one that needs the least number of assumptions. D. Done. Good. I hope we can all agree that it's option D. Yay! I was right! Yeah! I picked the right option. If you choose anything other than D, we'll do a separate episode on Occam's Razor and hopefully you'll come around. The point is... This guy is so... I love this guy. I love this guy. Guys, guys, this is the, this is the person... Why is this channel only has 400 subscribers? Go right now, find the Indian Atheist and subscribe to this channel, okay? Search for the Indian Atheist channel this is exactly what we needed this guy is exactly what we needed yes 
caste system is not by any means dead just yet it was i'm gonna invite this guy to our channel um and 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 yeah and also i hope harris you should invite him as well it wasn't more than a century ago that Dalits wouldn't be allowed to drink water from the wells or lakes reserved for the upper caste people please note that i'm not talking about dignity or self-esteem i'm not talking about jobs a means of livelihood i'm talking about water the primal requirement for life our country has been incalculably injured by the caste system we can't even begin to estimate in how many different ways it has repressed a whole section of our society you think you can wash off a stain like that in a mere handful of generations you'd be wrong caste system has been around for thousands of years yes you can't just expect it to disappear in thin air in the mere seven decades since independence we are a big country this is so much similar to the arguments that um leftists make in the united states and again I, I i wanted to not make take a position on this but on this they're absolutely right right so there's a lot of people say um on the right in the united states they say you know slavery is over jim crow is over get over it why are you guys still talking about slavery okay and i say there's a and it's it's gone slavery is illegal jim crow is illegal there's no discriminatory laws anymore so why the people in the united states constantly bring up like jim crow and slavery right like that's ancient history that's what they say right but they're so wrong about that again um i think there are some crazy ways that people talk about slavery like the way that they say uh they are have multi-generational trauma i think that's insane but there is, but it's true multi-generational poverty that is definitely a thing okay so you cannot you know it, just because there's no slavery in the united states anymore or that the jim crow law or other similar laws have been removed that doesn't mean the effects of that is not going to linger on of course it will just if just if you look about just if if you look at the wealth mobility, right? Wealth mobility is, there's no country in the world that has 100% wealth mobility. What does that mean? That means that the wealth that you have one generation, one generation is absolutely correlated and caused by the, by the wealth of their, their fathers and their grandparents, right? It's not like, you know, they see the American dream. The American dream means like, uh, anybody could make it uh, regardless of their wealth and that's a lie that that, that obvious like the wealth of your parents even though you could come up with examples of people that ma made it even against all odds every data shows that the more wealthy your parents are the higher the chances that you're going to be we wealthy is higher and the exceptions don't uh if you find like, many exceptions that doesn't mean that trend does not there and that's not just a correlation that's also a causation right so the fact that black people in the united states have been robbed of the opportunities uh to to gain wealth and if you just now make the uh, playing field equal that doesn't mean that now they're going to be able to catch up to everyone else right away again multi-generational poverty is not going to get erased over even 10 generations and the slavery wasn't even 10 generations ago it's like less than two generations ago right so of course you're going to see s still see the effects of those past policies of, um in in today's societies in the united states right uh, so but here it's very interesting because he's saying that yeah even first of all the caste system the the discrimination is not even gone in from india but even if it was gone you're not going to be able to just erase its effects over like not half a generation one generation two generations ten generations of course you're going to see the effects of it still continue but not that it's not that those policies are gone uh i is saying caste system is so bad especially in case of marriages that there is gone there is a gene divide in indians there is a whole caste in south india which is uh f fatally allergic to an anesthesia i have no idea if any of that is true okay so and i cannot l verify this live on air caste system has been around for thousands of years mm. you can't just 
expected to disappear in thin air in the mere seven decades since independence. We are a big country. Yes, yeah, seven decades. That's like not even two generations. It's amazing that people think that even think that is like has something as so significant as that could just be wiped away. Miss Kangna, things take time here. Yeah. You know, caste system hasn't been rejected by modern Indians. It has only been swept under a carpet. The worst part is the carpet is fucking see-through. <laughs> I love this guy. Yes. 